Hi, this is Marty Schupack from T-Ball America and tballamerica.com. Please visit us at our website, tballamerica.com. If you're a T-Ball coach or youth baseball coach, or even a parent of uh, some T-Ball players, I guarantee you'll come away with some uh, very good tips and very creative tips. Today I want to talk about uh, coaching with the what I call the progression method. And a lot of times coaches, um, they seem to overcoach and underteach. I know that's a simplified statement, but I happen to see it all the time. And I was guilty of it too when I first began coaching in youth sports. And by the progression method, I mean that you have to start with kind of baby steps and work your way up. And a lot of times this will bring about boredom to some of the better skilled players, especially at a young age. But in the long run, you're better off as a coach to coach this way. Perfect perfect example is uh, years ago, I remember observing a T-ball coach. At the first practice, he divided his team with partners, and uh, he gave each pair a ball, and he told them to have a catch. There was absolutely no instruction, and... By the time they were done, at least three, maybe even more kids got hit with the ball. And this is a negative experience for the kids. And the worst thing you could do in t-ball or in any sport in one of their first practices is to have the kids come away with a negative feeling. You want to put them in a position to succeed. I know I've said this over and over again, but it really is the best thing to do. Especially in t-ball, you, you want to keep it as non-competitive as possible. So what I would have done if I was that coach, and this is a, a, a basic, um, simplified way of doing it, I would have had the team face me, the coach, and I would have thrown them a ball from a bucket, and I'd instruct the team, I don't want them to catch it, I just want them to touch the ball with their glove. Again, this is their very first practice. Some of the players can catch it, but I'm telling even those players, don't catch the ball, touch it with the glove, and let it fall to the ground. And do not pick it up and throw it back to me or throw it back to the coach. Remember, you want to separate skills. I would continue to do this. The first one goes to the end of the line. Now, if you want to be a little more efficient, which I would do, I would get one or two assistants to have their own line with their own bucket of soft-covered balls and have them face the coach and have them touch the ball after he throws it to them. Again, you only have to do this for like five to ten minutes. But think about it. There is not a player in the team that wouldn't be able to do this, and they're going to come away from a positive experience. And again, we're putting them in a position to succeed. You you should do this on almost all aspects of t-ball, as far as catching, as far as throwing, as far as hitting off the tee, as far as running the bases as far as keeping their position on the field. Because as you know, T-ballers tend to crunch up into a scrum if the ball is hit in between different players. So in summing up, we want to teach by the progression method. It's the great way to introduce T-ball players, young players, to different skills. And I just want to point out too, in other sports, you could do this progression method also. Okay, and a perfect example is if a player is going to learn, how, a high school player is going to learn how to shoot a three-point shot, you, you don't want to take him beyond the three-point line and have him start shooting there. You want to build up to that. Some related um, resources would be the 59-minute baseball practice video. You can get it at Amazon Prime Video for free if you type in my name. Marty Schupak, S-C-H-U-P-A-K. Another resource would be um, the T-Ball Skills and Drills, either the video or the book. Uh, Backyard Baseball Drills video. And there's an article on this in the book Baseball Chronicles. Again, all these are my products, but please, you don't have to buy them. You could ask your library for them. Just give them my name. Tell them you want to Take it out of your library. If they don't have it there, they'll get it from another library. So for T-Ball America and T-BallAmerica.com, 
This has been Marty Schupach.